<laughs> Let's do it, brother. We continue our bartender spotlight uh, episode. So today I have a pleasure to have awesome bartender Blair. He works in some of the busiest nightclubs, day clubs, and the concert venues in Las Vegas. So I asked him to share some uh, mistakes that you guys do when ordering drinks in a nightclub. Boom. So first mistake, you guys, you're ordering the wrong drinks. You gotta realize you're at a concert venue, a nightclub venue where there's huge artists. The bartenders are four to six deep at any given time and you're ordering an old fashioned or a Negroni or a Mojito. Yeah. <laughs> We're not making that for you. We number one don't have the time nor the resources. All right. So remember your bartender is making five to 800 drinks per shift. Don't even think about these types of drinks. The second mistake, complaining about the drink prices. Listen, you guys, we're not in your college towns. You're not gonna pay $5 for a vodka cranberry at the top nightclubs in the world. Expect to pay 16. And a vodka Red Bull, guess how much? 1650? <laughs> no, 20 bucks for a vodka Red Bull. And we might not even use Red Bull. We might use Monster or Rockstar. You're in Vegas, okay? We don't make the drink prices, so please don't complain to us. And especially when we give you a $65 tab for a couple of drinks, you're in Vegas. That doesn't include gratuity. And third mistake, you guys, multiple payment. You and your friends come up to the bar, you order six different drinks, I give it to you, I then give you the total. What do you do? You reach into your pocket, you pull out your credit card. What do you do? Reach into your pocket and pull out your credit card. I now have six credit cards on my bar top. Okay, do you realize how long it is gonna take to run these six different credit cards? The people next to you are gonna be pissed. The three people behind you are even gonna be more pissed. So, put it all on one tab, and then your buddy, next round, can take care of the bill. Pay with one credit card. Number four, not calling your banks. Listen, you come to Vegas, your bank's gonna eventually block your card. Not because you don't have money, I'm not arguing that fact, okay? They put a travel protection or <laughs> fraud alert so people like him don't steal my stuff, okay? So just give your bank a call, you know, it, it takes 30 seconds for this phone call. Phone, show me 20,000 plus in their bank account. I don't care, okay? You could have a million plus, your bank still is looking out for you. Fraud protection, travel alert. You might have heard of these. If you haven't, look it up. You guys, number five. Less ice does not mean what? More alcohol. More alcohol. <laughs> I don't know how any other way to show you guys this. We've been racking our brains to figure it out. Okay, standard ounce and a half pour goes in a glass, right? Then we'll add the cranberry juice. Goes to right there. What happens when you take the ice out? The glass goes lower, right? But the alcohol did not go up at all. So we're gonna add more cranberry juice to fill the glass and it's gonna taste diluted down. So when I go to nightclub, I don't really order any mixed drinks just because I know it's not gonna be strong. So I prefer to like order, let's say, whiskey neat or maybe whiskey on a rock, so you kind of have the drink and it's just ice melting. You're drinking slowly, you taste alcohol. So it's just gonna cost you maybe like a few dollars more, but it's totally worth it. What the Number six, being rude. How does banging on a bar top, yeah. yelling, hey, 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 why, how? How does that make sense to even do to anybody? When you go to the grocery store and the cashier is taking forever, do you start yelling at them? No? So what makes it different for us? All right? We will get to you when we get to you. The ruder you are to us, guess what? The longer <laughs> you guys wanna wait. All right? And we do have some fun games with that, but that's another episode for another day. Thanks for having me. Remember, tip your bartender, follow these basic things, and your bartender is gonna have a great night, meaning that your night's gonna be even better. Cool, man. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to leave the link in the description for the Truthful Bartender. Subscribe to this channel, and we will see you next week with really awesome episodes. Yes! Nothing is impossible.